Snoop Dogg sat down with SOHH.com for a Crown interview where he discusses how Suge Knight and Death Row Records turned his back on him when he tried to make peace with Puff Daddy and the Notorious B.I.G. Snoop's attempt to make amends was during a time when he just had his son and was on his way to being the father of a second child. It was also a time when the East Coast versus West Coast rivalry was heating up, resulting in the deaths of Biggie and Tupac Shakur. Check the clip, which looks to be taken from a smartphone cam. It was a pivotal moment where I wanted to go see him, and I couldn't see him because they shut the visit down. But I was able to get on the phone with him, and I was like, "Cuz, why don't you let me shake Biggie and Puffy hand on TV and end this so we can, you know, figure out a way to move forward? The word I get was, I, it wasn't from him, but the word they got back to me, fuck them bitch ass niggas. That's the word I got back. So it made me feel like fucked up because it's like, you see me trying to reach out and show love and this is the message that you've seen. And then slowly but surely, they turned on me because they seen I wasn't with the business no more. I wasn't with the bullshit, I was with the realness. I had my son, I was about to have another baby. So it was like, I was going through shit where I was like, I'm trying to live, y'all niggas trying to die. He also called Knight a hypocrite following the 1995 Source Awards speech heard around hip hop. All of them people being in videos and all of that. Six months later, he was in videos doing the same exact thing on the front of magazines, on the cover of the magazine with me and Tupac. What are you doing? Why are you up here? It's not enough room for all three of us. But you know it's hypocritical. Currently, Knight is awaiting trial behind bars due to a fatal hit and run accident in Compton early last year. Is Snoop Dogg making sense? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, for more music and news, hit up hiphopdx.com.